Hey guys, welcome back to another Visline update. Today is Thursday, June 2nd, and I have just gotten my new set of trays. So, um, just to kind of recap what has happened in the last few months. So, I have had to get rescanned for a second time now. So, in total, this will be my third scan, but my second rescan. So, I am technically like this will be the third time having Invisalign because I got Invisalign the first time last June and then I got rescanned in December of last year. I got new Invisalign again and now I was rescanned again and I'm on my third set of Invisalign. So we're starting back at tray number one. Just like last time I had one out of 11. Well, this time I have one of 15. So that's gonna be like, six months or something I didn't really do the exact math yet of how many months I'm gonna have it but um, I, I change them out every two weeks so basically I'm gonna have them for 30 weeks so like six months or so um, the doctor today gave me a uh, tray two and three to take home with me I have tray one in currently and I have tray two and three that I'll be changing into so I have plans to go back in July to get more trays and the good thing about today is that I didn't have to get any attachments taken off, which is really good because I hate getting those things drilled off. They, I just don't like the sound of the drill and they really bug me. Um, but I did have to get three more attachments put on. Um, and if you've been watching me from the beginning, you'll know exactly like what I mean when I say I had to get a new attachment on my front tooth because my very first set of Invisalign I had two giant attachments on my front tooth this one right here and when I got rescanned the, the first time and I got my second set of Invisalign I did not need an attachment on that tooth so I went for a few months without attachments on that tooth and now I have two attachments back on that front tooth so that's kind of annoying but it's okay and then I got one more attachment on the bottom down here anyways here is the close-up of my new Invisalign I don't know how well you can see them but there's two attachments there and a new one here That's what my teeth are looking like almost one year since starting Invisalign. I started Invisalign June 16th of 2015. So I actually changed to tray two on June 16th of 2016. So that'll be my official one year with Invisalign. And by the time, if everything goes correctly this time around, by the time I'm done with these 15 trays, I will be at about like a year and a half give or take. Thank you guys for always watching. Uh, I know that there really is not a lot to update in these videos. I feel like it's kind of been the same stuff every time. Um, obviously I have new trays again. This is my third time technically with Invisalign. So this is, you know, a, a good update for you guys. Um, and just to kind of show that this can really happen to anybody with Invisalign. It doesn't go perfect the first time around or the second time around. So hopefully third time's a charm and this will be the last time I have to do this. And, um, yeah, hopefully I won't have to get Invisalign for a fourth time, but this is what happens and I should have expected this, but now if you guys are watching these videos and you're planning on getting Invisalign yourself, just be prepared that it doesn't work always the first time and you might have to get a refinement or two. And if you're looking into getting Invisalign, make sure you ask your dentist or your orthodontist whoever is doing it if they include refinements in your um, amount that you're paying because if they don't include refinements you might be starting all over and paying thousands of dollars again for a new set of Invisalign when you know you already paid that amount for the first time so this is my third time now and everything has been included so it's been well worth my money that I've you know gotten so make sure you just ask your dentist that um, if refinements are included and also um, ask if retainers are included because my orthodontist is including retainers in the amount that I paid and um, I know that all orthodontists don't do that so just ask it can't hurt to ask if they'll include extra things just you know tell them that you're paying a lot of money and that you want the most for your money so 
you know, if I could tell you guys anything, make sure you ask a lot of questions and get the most you can for the amount you're paying. So, but, um, I'm going to go now. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for always watching and have a good one. Bye.